This is the EF EcoFlow 12 kilowatt hour power station, Delta Pro Ultra with extra battery. And I'll start by saying, as someone who's tinkered with DIY solar and muddled through backup setups, just having this thing in front of me already feels like solving half the headaches of home power storage. I know a lot of folks talk about just build your own system, and honestly, I tried. Things like compatibility, a maze of settings, the trial and error of matching up inverters, batteries, and meters, it gets overwhelming fast unless your main hobby is troubleshooting. That's why I started looking at products like this one. So this Delta Pro Ultra is a big one, physically and in what it can do. This unit's not some little box for camping lights or charging your phone. To give you an idea, the main battery alone is about 116 pounds, with the full setup, battery, inverter, and stand pushing close to 300 pounds. EcoFlow put real thought into moving this beast though. Every wheel is lockable, and you can actually steer it pretty easily for something this heavy. They even throw in a spe special hand truck dolly just for moving it around. A small but pretty necessary upgrade, trust me. Let's get into why anyone would want this, the key features. This Delta Pro Ultra is rated for 7200 watts of C output, and what that means is it'll run just about anything in a standard home. I'm talking things like refrigerators, air conditioners, well pumps, even a heavy-duty welder. Usually, when folks talk about backup batteries, you have to pick and choose what stays powered on during an outage. With this, you can support large appliances all at the same time. Capacity was what surprised me most. The main battery has 6,144 watt-hours, and this unit comes with two of them, hence the 12 kilowatt-hour in the title. But if you're really ambitious, you can stack up to five batteries per inverter and even combine up to three inverter battery combos. That's expandable to over 90 kilowatt hours, which is pretty wild and really more capacity than I'd probably ever need, but it's good to have that future proofing. I started out with questions about complexity. My experience with solar stuff is that you usually have to hunt through apps or scroll through laggy screens just to check your power status or find the right setting. With this, EcoFlow made a big clear display front and center. At a glance, you see battery life, input, output, and more. There are physical buttons for all the basic controls, which I appreciate since I'm not always attached to my phone. Still, the machine supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and their EcoFlow app lets you dig into advanced features, adjust loads, schedule charging, or optimize your usage based on your home's real power habits. I tested out the app a bit. It works well most of the time, but like any app, I ran into a couple of random glitches, especially during setup. If you want total offline control though, everything you need is right there on the unit, which is key for back to basics users like me. A big deal for anyone who wants to handle critical home circuits is true dual voltage output. That means both 120 volts and 240 volts are ready to go. No extra accessories needed. I can plug in a standard dryer, larger power tools, or what I was genuinely excited to try a Lincoln Electric welder without needing to daisy chain two systems together. It even has a dedicated 30 amp RV plug and a proper split phase 240 volt outlet. One problem I ran into with older stations was that charging them took forever, sometimes a full day. Here, using both high voltage and low voltage solar inputs, you can hit charge rates up to 5600 watts. On grid charging is blazing fast if you feed it enough power. That's perfect if, like me, if you want to use it as a full backup battery that's ready and topped up before storms. You don't want to be waiting hours for just a partial charge. Another feature worth mentioning is the Life Before Battery Tech, short for lithium iron phosphate. This chemistry is a step above most lithium ion systems. From my experience, Life Before batteries can handle more charge cycles before they start wearing out. Right now, EcoFlow says you'll get over 3500 cycles before dropping to 80% capacity. That could mean nearly a decade or more of regular use depending on how hard you run it. I see that as real value for the price. Speaking of value, I know the cost stings. The retail price is around $5,800, sometimes less with sale codes. Can you build a system that large and flexible for less? Maybe, but once you add up the costs, the wiring, the headaches, paying an electrician, if anything trips out, it's a lot closer than you might guess especially for people who don't live and breathe wiring diagrams or want manufacturer support. This plug-and-play all-in-one is something I'd recommend. I want to mention some drawbacks, since nothing's perfect. Portability isn't really what this is about, despite the wheels. Sure, you can move it around the house or roll it out into your garage, but you're not packing this thing in your RV every weekend. It feels closer to a small home appliance than a portable generator. As for the fans, under heavy use, 
the cooling system kicks in and there is some fan noise. Not as bad as my old gasoline generator, but enough that you'll notice if it's running in the same room you're working in. One more thing for beginners, the wiring on the back for connecting extra batteries, solar panels, or a transfer switch isn't complicated, but it's not like plugging in a coffee maker either. If you want to use this as your home's main smart backup, you'll need to wire it into EcoFlow's special smart panel, which may warrant calling an electrician. The benefit, though, is that through the app, you can actually pick which home circuits to back up if the power goes out, rather than just dumping power into two or three outlets. It's more advanced, but the instructions are decent, from my experience using it during a backyard power outage, where I wanted to keep the fridge, eh, and a desktop computer going, I saw about 87% efficiency, which is on par for this class of inverter stations. With fast solar charging afterward, I was able to top up what I used in just over two hours under clear sun with a solid, large solar array. That's another thing it gets right. If you have the panels to support it, you aren't waiting forever to get back to 100%. In my opinion, this system hits a great balance between power, expandability, and ease of use. It's perfect for folks like me who don't want to be on the phone with a tech every week, but still want to run serious house loads, have a reliable backup for blackouts, and maybe even experiment with full off-grid living. If I was setting up a cabin, a guest house, or wanted the option for some intense home backup, I'd recommend this for the peace of mind it gives. I've seen people struggle to put together cobbled solutions. I'd rather have something I know will just work right out of the box, so if a storm blows through or my area loses grid power, I'm pretty well covered. In conclusion, this Delta Pro Ultra with the extra battery isn't the cheapest or most basic backup solution out there. But for folks who value reliability, strong output, expandability, and a straightforward experience, it's absolutely a contender. If you want a system that boots up fast, runs appliances you'd normally only dream of running during a blackout, and just takes a lot of the stress away, it's a solid choice. You can view detailed information about the EF EcoFlow 12 kilowatt hour power station Delta Pro Ultra with extra battery in the comments section. Thank you for watching.